this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn how to transform a photo into a series of interweaving strips. So let's have a look here. Right, so what I want to do here is uh, create some strips here of this image. So it seems like there are some horizontal strips and some vertical strips going along the image and there are some some of these strips that are going underneath the other and some that are going above the other and they're being laid out as if they were cut out pieces of paper and then laid out in uh, in a strip form horizontal and, and vertical uh, creating that image so the way that we do this is uh, first of all we need to set up our grid right so if we go into your preferences so I'm gonna go into my preferences of guides grid slices and so forth. Um, we can set our grid here in the grid section and I'm setting mine here at every 100 pixels and a subdivision of 4. This will work for this specific image that I'm working with if you have a higher resolution image you probably need to make a grid line a little bit uh, bigger than 100 pixels. And let me just show you why that is. We're gonna go into view and show and then grid and what you want to be doing is be able to see uh, you know the grid and have it assist you in creating your strips. Now the 100 here works pretty well because then I can do three blocks here of strips and then hold down shift and then skip two and do three more and then skip two and do three more. It doesn't have to be scientific in the way that I'm doing it right now with the three and then two and three and two but you want your um, grid to be big enough so you can do something like that. If you have a grid with a thousand little grids it becomes really hard to do something like that. Or again if you have only like six strip lines then it doesn't help you. So you want something in between, right? So I'm just going to be doing here three and then skip two and do three again. There we are. And for that, that, those are my vertical strips. So I'm going to do a Control and J to copy that. And copy that as vertical. Okay. Now we're going to go back into our image. Make sure that we are on the background layer here. And we're going to do the same, but for the horizontal strip. So we're going to do three, skip two, three, skip two, three, and so forth. Control and J. And that will be our horizontal. Okay, we can fill in our layer here, our background layer here to black because we don't need it. And I'm also going to hide our grid. So we're going to view, show, and grid. Untick that to hide the grid. Right, so at the moment we have them intersecting. We have these bits and these bits. And they're intersecting creating these squares here that are, seem like they're just missing a part of the image. What we want to do is select the areas in which the image, the, the strips intersect. So we have, for example, here, let me just show this to you here, an area around here that is also much more or less how I selected intersecting here. And to automatically make a selection of that, of the intersecting bits, what we need to do is um, hold down our uh, control and click to select the one of our strips. So I'm selecting our horizontal strip. And I'm going to hold down three keys. I'm going to hold down Shift, Alt, and Control. And you'll see that the hand icon changes here to, instead of just our square here with the hand with the square, holding down all three will be with an X. And the X will mark the spots where the images intersect, where the strips intersect. Okay. Now what we want to do is we're going to um, remove every other square selection bit. So this one we keep, this one we take away, this one we keep, this one we take away, this one we take away, this one we keep, and so on and so forth. So we're gonna do this till we have every other square selection. Okay, once we have that done, what we can do is do a Control and J again to copy that bit. And now we're gonna add an effect which is an outer glow, but we want our outer glow to be in a multiply mode. We want this in a black color and we want the opacity a little lower around 60 percent or so but the size we want something quite big so something like 20 pixels 30 pixels something so it seems like there's a cast being shadow over the strip that is going over the image. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller here 27 pixels and reduce the opacity just a bit here 56. Okay, so right now I'm using 56 and 27 uh, and clicking OK. 
So we have our strips here, our um, the vertical strips working in this way here, uh, or horizontal strips actually, but it, it's looking at the moment like it's our vertical strips. And what we need to do is just do it for our other one here, for our vertical. We've done the copy of our horizontal, now we're doing our vertical. So for the vertical, in the same way, we're just going to go ahead and click on the horizontal strips to load it again. And then we're going to hold down all of our three keys, Shift, Alt, and Control, and click to get our intersecting strips. And now we're going to do the opposite. Since we started here, we can see from our thumbnail, we started with the first one on. We're going to start with the first one off, and then on and off, on and off. Okay, once we have that done, we can do a Control and J again to copy that. And now we don't need to actually do the outer glow uh, again. I mean, we don't have to set it up again. We can right click on our layer, copy layer style, and then go to our new layer on top and right click and paste layer style. So we have that effect there. Now you can see that it is kind of working, but we have some parts here that it's not, the interweaving weaving isn't working out so well. And this happens in the top layer. The interweaving doesn't work until we add it as a clipping mask. So we just need to hold down Alt and get to the edge of an image here of the two layers. Between the two, you see that the little icon here changes. And we're going to click, and that is going to mask this area here. A clipping mask will clamp, mask that area. And now you can see the difference. Let me show you this again. We can click again to remove it. And pay attention to this area here. There we are. So it works pretty well here in our interweaving, and we have our interweaving strips making up that image. There you are. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website, and we'll create even more videos that interest you.